So one thing that's super critical when installing your uh, supercharger on your Civic SI is you're setting your bypass valve correctly. And the way this works is when the motor pulls vacuum, this air cylinder, because you hook up the line right here, it gets pulled down in vacuum. And when you pull that down, this little throttle body here stays completely open. So that allows uh, air from the inside of the blower manifold to recirculate and also it allows air to completely bypass the supercharger blades uh, when you're driving around at partial throttle so there's no load on the blades at all and that's how you get better fuel economy when you have a supercharger so when you're in vacuum it's open and when you go into boost it's going to push pressure into the cylinder which pushes this lever up as hard as it can and closes that valve completely and seals off the, uh, the manifold but one thing you want to be careful of is setting that because you want it to be set. And as you see, there's a set screw right here that this makes contact with. And that's a hard stop right there. You want to set that to make contact right there with the set screw at the exact point the bypass valve is closed. You don't want it to be um, having the throttle body close first and there be a gap there. So when the car goes in the boost, this cylinder is pressurized which pushes more force up on this I mean it's already spring loaded but when it goes into boost it's going to get even more pressure and if you're not bottoming out on this hard stop all that force is going to go through the throttle body bypass valve inside your supercharger and possibly wedge itself in there and get stuck or deform the uh, the plate into the aluminum housing you don't want that to experience a force on it you want it to just come up and touch and at that point you want it to just make contact with the, uh, the, the limit switch here. So this set screw can be adjusted in and out, but you can pretty much leave that alone. And you can play with the two bolts here. You undo those, and you can kind of tilt this side to side to get it right. And just you, it's got to go by feel a little bit. So you can feel when it clicks and closes. And at that point, you want that set screw to touch. So that's how you set your bypass valve. The best way to install this supercharger on the car because the after cooler is there's a stud right here and you can't get to the nut very easily so you have to have the bypass valve off the car put the blower in the car mount it on the manifold and don't put your snout on yet to your throttle body you can you got to leave it off so you can set your bypass valve once you screw this back on these are in slots so this will move around and you can't just tighten it down and say you're good because you want to set this and adjust this correctly so uh, put the blower in the car, tighten the manifold down, leave the, uh, the snout off with the throttle body, adjust this, tighten the bypass valve down when it's in the car, make sure that this is set correctly, and then you can put your snout on, your inlet, and then your throttle body and everything else after. This here is a Comtech supercharger, Comtech engineering for the Civic Si. Uh, this is for an 8th gen Civic Si. It was on my 07 Civic Si, so that's just uh, one thing you got to look out for. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe.